Hi all, in this lecture, we'll talk about the data model that we will be building in our course. The data model you are seeing on screen right now is a B2C or business to customer data model, which only considers individual customers or prospects. So here we are trying to master individual customers who has bought a product and also trying to store their communication preferences. Now there are so many other variations of customer data model which you can build. For example, you can have a party data model which caters for B2B and B2C or business to business or business to customers uh, records. We can also get rid of the product and only focus on individual customers or organizations. We can also normalize uh, the data model by splitting the address and contact details emails to separate entities. But for now, we will be sticking with this data model that we have on screen as provided by Simaki in its tutorials. So if we start with our first entity, this would be person entity. And if you can see this icon in the left side, which says X equals to Y, this indicates that it's a fuzzy entity. So we'll have fuzzy match rules in this entity. This is not uh, a simple basic entity in Simaki's world. And in all other tools as well, you would have to identify which are your fuzzy entities and which are your basic or exact entities. So as we have concluded, this is a base, uh, this is a fuzzy entity. Now, if we talk about the attributes of it, we have got the ID, which is the golden ID or the primary key for this entity. We have got the first name, last name. We have got the phonetic first name, last name, normalized first name, last name, which is basically cleansing, removing noise characters and also converting the string to match its pronunciation. We have got the nickname, which is going to be a lookup to this table. We'll talk about that. We have got the member ID, which is internal to this organization for which we are building this data model. We have got date of birth for your customer. This is a complex address type, but the individual fields of this address are listed below here as well. So we will be normalizing street. We will again cleanse the street. We will be getting from the source system. We'll cleanse the city, state, etc. This is the source email, which is your incoming uh, email address of your customer from different channels. Then we will have uh, enrichment of your email to store it in your cleansed email attribute. We'll also check whether it's a valid email domain or not. We'll get the source phone and then we'll standardize the phone and store it into this field. We'll also get the geocoding for that phone uh, coming from the source systems. Value status would be whether it's a normal customer or high priority customer based on the purchases he or she has made. And then we have got the person type, which is either your customer or prospect. Now, if we talk about your nickname, Nickname is just like a reference table or a lookup table. So that's why it has no link to any other entities. So here we have got nickname in person. So basically we will be populating this nickname from this table by looking up to this table. So we'll pass the first name or normalize first name to this nickname lookup table. And in return, we'll get the top nickname and which, which will be assigned to this nickname attribute. So we'll see when we will be building uh, this uh, data model in Simaki. Then we have got communication channel preferences here. We have got the ID, which is again the primary key. We have got the foreign key of person because here we are trying to store every individual's communication channel preferences across different channels like or source systems. Then we have got the communication type, whether it's email, um, postal or phone. We have got the channel frequency uh, like monthly, quarterly, half yearly. We have got preference, which is opt in or opt out. And then we have got the first name, which is coming from the person itself. Then here on the right side, we have got the person product, which is an intersection table of person and product because this tells us which person has bought which product. So here again, ID is the primary key. We have got the foreign key from person. And again, the next foreign key is from the product. This is the purchase date and this is just the registration date. And here we have got the list of products uh, for this organization um, where we have got ID as the primary key. We have got the product name, product description, where it is being originated from, what's the sales unit, and what is the price of that product. Now what we'll do is we'll go through the 
uh, source data file which Simaki has provided in his tutorials to go through what data is present in the source system which we will be mastering in our data model because that will help. 